All right, what's up everybody? Uh, just a quick check-in for Pursuing Ultra. Continue to make good good progress in terms of my long run. I just got done with one and I did uh, 12, uh, 12 and a half, almost 12 and a half miles. Took me about two and a half hours. The, the real goal was just to be out for two and a half hours. And uh, if you haven't caught the last um, long run thoughts video, uh, you'll see it was super snowy today. The snow at some points at the peak got up to uh, 10 to 12 inches probably. Um, and we were just trudging through it. Uh, and by we, oh, I, Duba, hey. By we, I mean my running partner, uh, Miss Alou over here. She's my pupper in crime, PIC. So, <laughs> so yeah, we had, we had a good time. Um, she is absolute mess, uh, with mud and all that sort of stuff, but she loved it. Um, I had a great time too. Uh, doing two and a half hours might've been a little bit, a little bit ambitious for the day. Felt good. Um, nothing, you know, no injuries or anything like that, just soreness and like hip flexors and stuff just because it was so slippery. Uh, so that is something to note that when you run in the snow or run, run in the sand or whatever it is, uh, if you can't get good holding, like foothold and you're, you know, kind of slipping and spinning your tires, um, you know, that can result in, uh, well, for me, it results in, you know, a little bit more stress being placed on like the, the feet and the ankles and then uh, up into the hip flexors as well. Yeah, that was a quick, quick check-in. Um, everything's going well. I've since started to do my, uh, zone two training in terms of, uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, after I teach exercise physiology, I will go to the, uh, gym on campus and I will, uh, walk or mainly I'll go on, I'll do the step, like the stepper, um, and I'll do it for an hour. And now I'm starting to get up into actually targeting like my zone two stuff, just because I'm feeling a lot more fit. Before that, I was just kind of, you know, playing it by how my legs felt. For example, I'll probably go tomorrow and I'll be a little sore, but uh, I'll just bring, uh, generally what I do for those days is I'll bring a Gatorade or some other sort of recovery drink with high carbohydrates in it. And I'll just sip on that during uh, the time. And that's a good way of replenishing glycogen. So I'll do that on my Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I, I go and I, I run in the morning before I go to school or go to work. And uh, that's been helping me uh, to really start to you, like run faster. Because I, you know, when I come out here doing my long runs, it's there's not much fast running going on. It's just kind of, you know, surviving uh, the, the two and a half hours. So generally go pretty slow. When I do like the stepper, uh, it's fast, but it's not running. It's really just training for, you know, like a lot of uphill. So, um, in the mornings on Tuesdays, I like to get in a 20 to 30 minute run generally. Um, and by, by fast, I don't mean like, you know, blazing fast or anything like that, but, uh, you know, just, just a way to, to get the legs turning over a little bit more quickly than just hiking up a, hiking up a hill. I recently did a VO2 max test and a, uh, limiter test and I'm interested. I haven't, I haven't crunched those results yet, but it was looking like my VO2 is a little bit lower than, uh, where it's been, uh, recently. So, uh, that was, that was interesting, but I mean, I haven't been doing tons of, um, I haven't been doing any interval training or anything like that. I've just been trying to build volume. Um, so it might be time to start do, to start to do, uh, intervals. Um, that'll probably either be on a bike or, uh, on the stepper or something like that. And where I'll, maybe I'll start with like Tabatas where I'll do like 20 seconds on 10 seconds. Easy. The whole goal is just to target, target increases in VO2 max. Um, so any sort of form of, uh, high intensity interval training is going to really help to target your central cardiovascular, So your heart and your, your ability to actually like pump blood, um, the longer stuff is really good at developing your capillaries and your mitochondrial density. Um, there's, there's definitely carryover for both of them, but, um, I, I think, you know, since I've been doing so much easy, easy stuff, easy, longer stuff, I think it's time forward a block of like four to six weeks of, um, you know, VO2 max style training. Um, and there's a lot of different, you know, different ways you can approach it. The kind of the pinnacle of it is like, you know, four to six minutes, like, very hard. Um, so wherever your like VO two max speed is, but I don't think I'm ready for that quite yet. So I'm just going to start with, you know, some, some Tabata stuff. It's not perfect in terms of uh, VO two max adaptations, but it is going to be really good 
for, uh, you know, just, just getting used to doing a little bit more high intensity stuff. So I'll do that and we'll see if I, if I decide to do anything else, but I think I'll, I'll start to, uh, implement some of that on the, on the stairs and then on the bike. And then eventually I'll start to translate that over to the treadmill, um, or the road. So that's kind of where I'm headed. Uh, everything's going well right now, uh, in the midst of, of continuing my PhD. So, uh, I have to be really flexible in terms of my, my training schedule and all of that. But other than that, staying healthy, sleeping a lot, uh, trying to stay up on food has been going really well. I've been staying pretty motivated. So, um, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. If you're liking this sort of stuff, give the, give the video a like. Um, and if you are really liking this stuff, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and it really helps me to know, uh, you know, what's working and what's not. So, uh, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.